Well, hello there today. We're going to be going over activity 3.1b, linear measurement with U.S. customary units. Um, we have been working on these for the last couple days, and uh, with these, they're telling us to record fractional inches to the nearest one thirty-second of an inch. So what we're trying to do here right now then is... Um, Oh, excuse me. Uh, here we go. Right, sorry. It's early in the morning. Still trying to get my brain going in the right direction. I know some of you probably like that sometimes too. But at any rate, so here's our measurements. A comes out to here. Well, this right here, and one of the things I told students is to think of every one of these little ticks. When it's measured into sixteenths, think of every one of these ticks as two thirty seconds. So it's two thirty seconds, four thirty seconds, six thirty seconds. 830 seconds. That's going to reduce down to, if you divide both of those by 8, 1 fourth. Go to a little smaller pin here. Um, 1 would be 32 30 seconds because it's one whole. So that means if I, and this right here would be 30 30 seconds because it's 1 to the left or 2 30 seconds to the left. So that gives me, it's somewhere between 30 and 32. Well, that's obviously 31 30 seconds. C is going to come out here. I know it's 1 and uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. I'm saying this is 24, 30 seconds, which is going to reduce down to, if I divide them both by 8, 3 fourths. So it becomes 1 and 3 fourths. D is going to be 2 and something. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. This is 12. This one's 14, so it's going to be somewhere between 12 30 seconds and 14 30 seconds. So I'm going to make it, or 12 30 seconds and 14 30 seconds, and I'm going to make it 2 and 13 30 seconds. E, e is 3, and uh, this is 2 30 seconds. This is 0 30 seconds, so obviously in the middle of that would be 1 30 second. Hope that was beneficial there for you. What is the difference in links between A and C? Go back up here. Well, one thing that I did not do here with this is convert these to decimal answers. My apologies. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and convert these to decimals. A couple of these are going to be pretty easy. The one fourth, the one fourth I know is going to convert to 0.25. The 31 30 seconds. I'm going to have to work that one out here. This right here becomes 0.968. I don't need to go any farther because the 8 tells the 6 to become 0.97. Because we're going to round to the nearest hundredth. And then 1 and 3 fourths. Well, 3 fourths is 0.75, so that's 1.75. 3 fourths of a dollar is a dollar seventy is 75 cents, so it's a dollar 75. This right here is going to become. Uh, 13 30 seconds is 0 0.406, so this right here is going to become 2.41. The 6 tells the 0 to round up. And then 3 and 1 30 second uh, becomes uh, 0 0.0312, yada yada. The 1 tells the 3 to stay a 3, so it becomes 3.03. So again, what is the difference in length between A um, and C? Well, the difference in length, well, A is, uh, I'm going to use the decimals, uh, I'm going to keep it simple for myself, is 0.25, and C is 1.75. And that gives me an answer then of 1.5 inches. 
And then what is the difference in lengths between B and E? B is 0.968 and E is 3.03. .03. So I'm going to do 3.03 .03 minus 0.97. And when I punch those into the calculator, 3.03 .03 minus 0.97. That gives me an answer of 2.06 inches. All right. <clears throat> For this part of the assignment, they want us to measure um, and record the answers both as fractionals and as decimal answers. What I'm going to try to do here is on all the odd numbers is where I'm going to report the fractions. The even numbers is where I'm going to report the decimals. Um, so my first one here, I get a measurement. You're going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm getting a measurement of 3 and 3 fourths inches. So 3 and 3 fourths inches. And then that becomes 3.75 inches. Number 3 you've already hit it. Actually what happened is the zoom changed. I don't even know how I did it because I didn't have my hand on anything. But, oh well. <laughs> Life happens. Here we go. Okay, here's an example where I'm going to have to go to the nearest 30 second. Uh, I'm counting here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, I'm going to call this one, all right, 29, oh shoot, I measured the wrong thing, I measured, actually measured the box, oh, that's kind of funny, oh, right, hey, this is, I'm measuring this to be exactly two and a quarter, so that became easier, two and a quarter inches, which would be 2.25, number five here then, uh, it's one, I'm getting exactly one and three fourths, so far, I haven't had to use any um, 30 seconds at all. 7 and 8 are right down here. Again, I'm getting the exact measurement of 17.30 oh,30 seconds. I'm going to have to use the calculator on that one because I don't know it off the top of my head. 0.53 and the thing I about left off it here are these inch marks. You either write inch or you put these double quote the quotation marks there for inches. Alright, to my circle here. Alright, here I'm going to, have to do an estimate. I'm getting 2, 4, 6, 8, it's between 10 and 12 30 seconds so I'm going to do 11 30 seconds. All right, and 11.30 seconds, I don't know that one off the top of my head either. So we get an answer of a 0.343 or just 0.34 inches. 11 and 12, all right, I'm going to measure. Okay, again, I'm going to do an estimate here, and uh, I am between 28 and 30, 30 seconds, so I'm going to call it 29 30 seconds of an inch, and I punch that into a calculator, and I get 0 .906. The 6 is going to tell the 0 to round up to 0 .91 inches. <coughs> okay, measure the distance between two adjacent lines on a, on a sheet of lined paper and customary units. Record the measurements using each of the following units. All, right. All you're going to do is take a piece of paper, your writing paper. Heck, you can even use your graph paper if you want. Find two lines that are parallel, all right, um, and or adjacent, meaning side by side. Uh, adjacent meaning they didn't want you to skip any lines, and then measure them. So I just made these, and I'm going to measure what this is. Obviously, yours is going to be a little bit different, but I'm getting a, once again, I'll have to do an estimate, and I'm getting two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, eight, between eight and ten. So I'm going to call it nine thirty seconds. And when I do that, I get an answer of 0 0.28.
inches. All right, the next one here. I gave you some things for you to measure. And what I'm going to do with this then is uh, I'm just going to make up some measurements. I, I, I don't have the, these, all of these things in front of me. Uh, these would all be things that you would have either at your house or uh, somewhere, hopefully. So, and as I'm checking my pockets, I'm, oh, there's my phone. So I do have my phone. All right, phone depth. Uh, right now I'm measuring that, and <laughs> phone depth, and I have diameter here. That was kind of a little bit of a mistake. So that wouldn't be diameter. That would be depth. And uh, I'm measuring that to be, mine's a little bit older one. Uh, I'm measuring that to be 2, 4, 6, 8. Again, my thing is 9 30 seconds of an inch. My desk, my desk width. I'm going to go ahead and measure my desk width right now, and I'm getting a measurement of approximately, and this would be width, and I'm getting a, a measurement here approximately of uh, 25 inches. I don't need the fraction. 25 and a, a one. Fourth inches. Now, as a decimal, that would be 1 divided by 4, or 25.25 inches. Dial caliper. Uh, as I measure that, uh, I get an estimate, a measurement of 1, and I'm going to have to do an estimate of 5.30 seconds. And I change that 30 seconds into a, fract into a decimal, and I get 1.156, which tells me to make it 1. 0.16 inches. CPU screen. So I'm just going to be measuring the screen across here, the width of my screen, and uh, I'm seeing that my width is approximately. Oh, well, this is height. Oh, I got to go back and remeasure this then. So my height, just the screen part, is approximately six and. 15, 30 seconds. Now I believe on this one, yes, they want decimal inches here on this, so this becomes 0.468, which becomes 6.47 inches. Didn't really, this is fractional inches, so on the dial caliber, I didn't have to make that as a decimal. So there's that part. One last thing here for this. Right. In your engineering notebook, create a full-scale isometric view of the um, object represented in the following sketch using the dimensions shown. Use a ruler to obtain the correct dimensions on your sketch. All right. On here now, everything's going to be measured in inches. Uh, I'm going to start with, I'm going to have to keep going back and forth, I remember here now, with my pen. I'm going to start with that point right there. And I'm just going to create the box for you and let you go from there. I'm not going to try to make it all, um, but... It tells me right now that it's going to be uh, 2.75 by 0.5. So I go over to my ISO paper, I get my pen, and I'm going to create a starting point right there. And it's going to be 2.75 inches. And the other measurement, I believe, was 0.5 inches. So when I go to make this box, I know approximately that everything is going to fit. And I'm going to go ahead and draw on the back side of the box. Sometimes I think that's beneficial to being able to draw it really well. So what I'm doing here now is dr drawing in the whole box, even though there's going to be my pin back. Somehow I lost my pin feature. Go. Okay. And I don't know how tall it's going to be. I'm just drawing all these lines up. The nice thing is I won't have to. All right. Right over here, it tells me that it's uh, an inch to here plus it's 0.25, so it's 1.25 inches tall. So I go back over here, pick my and I find out that it's 1.25 inches tall. 
Sorry, I'm still hitting buttons. That's going to be an ongoing problem as we do this throughout the course of the trimester. So, there's that. I need to extend all of my measurements here. Oh, I didn't draw it over far enough. Something happened here. I think right there is actually where that line back there is supposed to be. That looks a little better. Now that's the box. That whole figure is going to fit inside that box. Hopefully that helps you guys a whole lot uh, from here with these isometrics. And I'll see you on the flip side.